Society ya Kenya watu wenye wako na bunduki eh, from the last statistics I saw mm -hmm. ilikuwa around 700,000. Mm -hmm. Watu 700,000 wamejipanga kiwao. Mm -hmm. Lakini sasa ukiniambia vitu uko allowed kufanya hii bunduki iko na sheria mob mpaka hata fadhali tu utegemeza polisi. Yeah. Ati mtu akikuja kuiba kwako mm -hmm. hawezi mpiga risasi. Unafaa ni... kumwambia hey, we, we. kuna kuna hii kitu hapa sio sio namna hiyo unajua bunduki ni kifaa ambaye iko na sheria na lazima iko na utaratibu wake wa vile itakavyo yes. itakavyo tunzwa ukisema Kenya tuko na 700,000 people who have got private firearms yes. hapo una include wale wanaitwa home guards yes. una include wale wanaolinda kwenye ranches yes. wale wana kwenye conservancies na kuna wale ambaye wanafanya kwenye maritime yes. ambaye sio kwenye police force ama kwenye police service okay. but ukija kwa sisi ambaye unaweza kusema license firearm holders sisi ambaye tuko na silaha halali yes. ambaye tumekuwa na bahati ya kwenda kwenye kufanywa vetting kwenye hii board mpya ambaye ilikuja tuko hatujafika 700,000 okay. but hiyo namba ndio ni kubwa but kuna utaratibu wa vile zinafaa kulindwa na, na, na pia bunduki yenyewe inafaa kulindwa bunduki na kulinda na wewe unailinda na ndio sasa swali ni yes. izi, kwanza hata kukuwa na bunduki yenyewe mm. ni risk kwako because kuna watu wanataka kuiiba vile iko sio risk unaweza kusema ni risk lakini ni responsibility kubwa Ah. Eh, risk ni kama wewe utakuwa kuna bunduki utakuwa wewe ni safe keeper ukishaichukua na kwenye safe yako okay. ufanyi nafasi ya kwenda kujaribu kujifunza mm. wende utembelee pengine kule ngao Kenya kwenye range uweze kufundishwa uweze kujua ni vipi utaweza ku, kupata skill level yako ama kupata proficiency level yako ipande yes. Yes. sasa pale utapata wewe ni mtu kishike ile bunduki kama ukimwangalia yule kijana ambaye ame Ame, alikuwa kwenye hiyo incident Richard, yule yes. mlafu yule ambaye amemsumbua oh, huyo mwoga eh, yes. huyo ambaye alikuwa ukimwangalia ile bunduki wakati yote ameishika kidole yake kwenye kwenye trigger ndani yes. kwa hivyo hile ni kumaanisha yule ni mtu ambaye hana utaratibu wa desturi za bunduki because hana adabu ya bunduki exactly Uki, angekuwa kwa naye ungeona ni mtu ambaye ako trained mtu ambaye kidole zake ziko nje ukimwangalia umri ya yule kijana ni kijana mdogo na hivi hizi bunduki vile unavyotumia Ye mwenye pale yako kwenye panic mode. Na zile vituko wanafanya pale za kukota zile mahela na kuibia ibia wale watu. Ye yes. mwenye ni risk kwake. Sasa kwa hawa wakora, hiyo bunduki ni risk kwa hawa. Lakini okay. kwa mtu ambaye amepata bunduki kihalali na amepata njinsia za kutumia ile bunduki. Yes. Na amepata training, amepata utaratibu wake. Utapata ile ni responsibility. Okay. Haitakuwa risk kwako, haitakuwa risk kwa wengine. Because lazima ufate the four safety rules. Thank you. Ambazo zinasema na ndependa nkuambie one treat all weapons as if all firearms as if they are as if loaded. All treat all weapons as all firearms as loaded. Inakuambia ya pili put your finger off the trigger at all times until you're sure of your target. Ya tatu inakuambia never point the firearm at anything you don't intend to destroy. Not even at your hands, your hands, your legs, anything that you don't intend to destroy. Not even expensive equipment or anything in your house that you don't intend to destroy. Then it also tells you that you must know your target and what lies in front of your target and what lies beyond your target. Okay. Because the trajectory line path that a bullet takes can penetrate through soft tissue. Na itoke pande hiyo nyingine, yende kaduru mtu ambaye haikuwa na faa kuduru. So you must always follow these four rules. Sawa, sawa. Okay, yeah. licensed firearm holder. Sio? Yes. Mm. Eh, unaibeba, mtu anafaa kueka, what's the difference katia kueka hapa alafu na kueka huku hapa mbele? Um, it was not a carry, carry ways. My carry system can be appendix. Appendix ni hapa hapa kwa kambele, appendix carry. Hapa. Uh, that's what unajua wengine wanasema karibu na ile vitu ambayo unajua nza kwako. Sasa so, <laughs> itwa appendix. Yeah. Alafu kuna ile inabikwa side carry. Yes. Na kuna ile inaweza beba rear carry. Okay. So it depends with someone's training and it depends with your attire. The Sawa. kind of clothing that you wear. Sawa. Yes. So, ukieka hapa mbele hiyo ya appendix unasema, yes. ukienda yuraino kama mwanume unaona bunduki mbili. Yes, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa, ni swali yangu inakuja yeah. hapa. Yeah. Sana sana hii labda mtu anza kosa kuona. Mm -hmm. Ukibeba bunduki, mm -hmm. uko, uko, uko uku nyuma. Mm -hmm. Mtu wakikuangalia vizuri, anezaona ukona bunduki. Mtu wakikuangalia vizuri, mm -hmm. anezaona kekitu. Mm -hmm. Kama mtu ni askari, mm -hmm. of course, wesi askari, but mm -hmm. mtu, mtu askari anezaona mtu wa mebeba bunduki. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, ideally, askari ya kiono uko armed, anafatwe bunduki ya kuambie, hands up. Mina ongea from a movie man. Mm -hmm. Hands up. Sindio? <laughs> so, is that where as a firearm holder, unatoa, unatoa license yako, unamambia, mimi ni kona license. Ama polisi anajua kuangalivi, ajue, ahuyu uh, wakona license, akona bunduki, but awezi muliza kitu. Um, ndakuambia hivi. 
kuna watu wanobeba simu kwenye upande wa kwangu upande wa kulia au upande wa kushoto yes. kuna wale wanobeba simu kwa upande ya nyuma sijaona mtu ameba simu kwa upande ya mbele lakini hiyo sijaweona kwa sababu kuzo wangu anaitwa Mike aki ya nani na fair story tamaanisha kenda basi kwenye Ukraine vile ulisema atakuwa na pega simu na itakuwa ni kazi ngumu so ile desturi ya kubeba ukimwangalia mtu kuna ile kitu naitwa dimina okay the officers were co trained especially officer mm. wetu wa Kenya na mimi ningependa mm. kuwapongeza sana wako trained na ile training ambayo wanapata wataweza kukuangalia hivi ataona ule jamaa ako na bunduki ama ile ile, ile kitu imejifurisha ime, ime, ime pale kwa mwili yes. yake yaweza kwa koni nini ama nini alafu anakuangalia how do you carry yourself kama we ni mlevi una tabia za kusumbuana na watu yes. atabaki yako makini na wewe kabisa akikuangalia okay. okay. akiona unaenda kuzidisha na kuna tabia kama utaenda kufanya incident pale ndio sasa anaweza ka draw bunduki yake because ule ambaye ame draw mwanzo ndio akona command na control na akusalimishe chini akonfirm wewe ni mtu kwa halali na bunduki yako alafu kutoka hapo achukue sheria vile inavyofaa kuchukuliwa okay. lakini pia haji kuja tu aone kuna kitu na bulge kwako naje aseme ni bunduki ni bunduki kama vile unasema wengine wanabeba mbele alafu utakuja useme jamaa ha, akuna bunduki na hivyo pengine hata pengine za kwako ni simu ama ni kitu nyingine tofauti. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini utapata kuna yule ambaye amebeba pande ya kando. Yes. Na hii kando kia inaonekana bado ni sheria inakwambia it must be concealed. Okay. Hata sheria yenyewe inakukataza kutembea uki display bunduki yako. Haisai. Which you beg the question ni ya nini? Na nitakuuliza, nitakuuliza mm -hmm. unajua the idea ya niko nayo usijaribu mm -hmm. inafai kwa the first use of the gun. Ukiniuliza mm -hmm. mimi from a layman's perspective. Mm -hmm. Na sijui kama unaweza tu kuna license ya bunduki. Yes, kuna license. Where bunduki. where do you remove it? You remove your license. Kama mimi niko na lesson yangu. You remove your license especially when somebody asks you yes to 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 show them the license yes. of your firearm. Now this okay. is a, this is my license. And you see if somebody has a license like this one, who ni mtu ambaye amepitia kwenye fire license board, amekuwa vetted na baada kukuwa vetted, akaelezewa sheria ni hii na ile na akaweza kujua ni jinsi gani utaweza kukaa na bunduki yako. Na hizi leseni kwa siku ya leo ndakwambia kitambo kulikuwa na story kuna watu ambao wako na bunduki ambazo si za halali. Sasa siku hizi lazima utatoa hii. Ukienda kwenye malls utapata ofisa pale ako na kitu ya kupima kujua kama mtu ako na any weapons hiyo. Itabidi mtolee ile leseni because usipomtolea ile leseni atapata uko na bunduki na haufai kukuwa naye so lazima ukue naye lazima ukue naye inakuambia you must carry it at all times na sasa hii mm. ukiwa nayo na watu wanajua ni nini unaweza bunduki nyumbani na wendo waambie we we as in si hii ni bunduki sasa utakuwa wewe ni mlafi na sasa hiyo ndio sasa unasikia tunasema sheria inakataza vitu kama hizo. Hawezi tumia hii kama warning. Hawezi kutumia mtu ni njia ya kuonesha mtu kubunduki bila kumuonesha uko na bunduki. Sasa hiyo ukianza hivyo we ni mtu hufai kuwa na bunduki. Sasa bunduki ni ya nini? Ndakuuliza tena. Yes. Ukinyongwa, ukipigwa ngeta, yes. mtu akijaribu kukupiga ngeta na yes. uko na bunduki, yes. hawezi itoa. Utatoa. Au oh, utatoa? Yes. Hiyo sasa nimi ju nimerudi pale kwa uliniambia mtu akikuja kuiba kwako mm. na uko na bunduki usimpige risasi. Mm -hmm. Oh, ni kutoa kutu, tu muoneshe. Mm -mm. When there is a three imminent threat to your life then there you are allowed to use your firearm. Mm. When there is an imminent threat to your life. Lakini ukija kwangu umeiba TV na kuona pale ukiiba TV, kwa Mungu si kesho ndani wa TV nyingine. Ama nitaomba Mwenyezi Mungu anisaidie hata kama ile imeenda, nitafute njia kupata Hata warning shot. Sasa pale warning shot pia una dispense ile round yako kwa hewa sio? Ile round you are responsible from the beginning of your your, your bullet, yes. you are responsible to the path and to the place where it will finally rest. Sasa okay. nikipiga hewani ninajua mali inaenda? Ah. Sijui. Nikipiga kando hivi pengine nyumba ya kwangu vile imetengezwa itapitia kwenye ceiling na my daughter yako kule juu. Ah. Na kwako mimi nimemuua. Okay. Sasa ile haitakuwa kwa accidental discharge. It will be a negligent discharge because I discharged my fire I'm pointing at the fire in a direction where I did not know the end result. So you have to account for the bullets zenye umepewa. You account for it not only in numbers the position of the bullet from when it was in your firearm the path it takes and the final resting place hey. kama itakupiga kwenye ile room na siku kuona sisi nikasema i did not know it is me who fired it so when you have a gun you have to see through walls you have to see you have to seek responsibility within yourself and within the use of the firearm aya sawa na bullets pia ziko na story niliambiwa hata sijui you can verify this that kwa system huko kwa forces eh, mwizi akipigwa risasi familia yake lazima irudishe pesa ya hizo risasi 
Um, kwa kuzungumzia mambo ya force za mambo ya polisi zitaweza kuzungumzia kwa siku okay. ya leo lakini ninakwambia vitu vingine ni practical lazima iangaliwe ukimwangalia polisi akitoka senda kazini okay. ile ni vifaa zake za kazi so. ukisema familia yake itakuja kuchajiwa kwa ile burisasi ambayo ametumia sasa zingine tunasema tupatiane heshima kwa serikali yetu na tupatiane heshima kwa mapolisi wetu ile yes. kazi wanafanya ni ngumu kuliko okay. kazi nyingine ambayo wewe ukiambua leo ufanye uwezi ukafanya uwezi kakaa usiku mzima nje ukiwa unategea mtu mwingine akienda kubomoa kwa watu yes. wewe ni kulinda sawa na when it comes to um, seme kama uuzaji wa bunduki you are a licensed firearms dealer yes. uko na duka yako ya bunduki niko na duka mtu anaweza kuja shopping mm-hmm. nipatie Glock 99 sijui kama kuna bunduki kama hiyo <laughs> whatever that is na US hata the laws are a little different mm-hmm. kuna shop ya bunduki hata hapa unaweza toka uende upate mm-hmm. kuna duka ya bunduki yes. don't you feel like uko na restrictions mingi sana before upate customers Duka yako ukifungua mm-hmm. ndio ngoje mtu akuje lazima akuwe amepitia vetting process yenye si mchezo. Ni kweli kabisa. Ukimwangalia mtu ambaye ameka duka ya spare ya masubaru. Yes. Huyo mtu anauza spare za subaru peke yake. Mm-hmm. Yeye anategemea customer wake ile atakuja si mtu wa Toyota. Yes. Ni mtu wa Subaru. Okay. Sisi tukiwa pale kama dealers pia tuko kwenye hiyo biashara kwa sababu kutoka mwanzo huku ingia ukidhania kila mtu ambaye anapita atakuja kuingia kwa duka yako. Mm-hmm. Tuliingia kama kwa sababu kama mimi ni mkufunzi mimi ni trainer mm-hmm. nikaangalia nikaona ndio niweze pia kusababisha nipate njia tofauti ambayo nitaweza kulisha familia vyema kidogo yes. nifungue naye duka ya yes. ya bunduki na ile vetting mimi nilienda mwanzo kabla sijapatua hiyo leseni yes. na kwambia ni kwa 2015 nilikuja kuiona 2018 nilichukua mwaka tatu Before na kwa hiyo mwaka tatu ndio nikuja kupatana naye bado mpaka yes. wasiku wa leo okay. tunafanywa continuous vetting okay. ya kila siku sawa sawa na yes. wewe mtu kama wewe sasa na assume from a layman's perspective because i'm the lead layman in this country mm. uh, uko na stock sasa na tuseme bullets zime expire uko na zile za kitambo zenye zimeisha bado you can you use them for fun like umesema vizuri sana we upendi mbio ni nini ukiwa pale nyumbani christmas yeah. unaweza ngangana na kuku kukimbiza na wewe ni sharp shooter and pa <laughs> <laughs> ni, can you, what do, can you do that for fun like you, you 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 can never use any component of anything in the line of firearms for fun the only part we can call fun is when you're using a firearm for sporting activities but the fun part does not anywhere meet with matters to do with safety safety is held 100% and it's paramount and there is no room for excusing this na unajua nimetumia example ya kuku specifically before twende kwa sports mm. nimetumia example ya kuku specifically because eventually you will kill it yes unaona mm-hmm. so badala hiyo pressure yote ya kukata na shingo de, nini slow death pa na umemaliza huwezi hata na license huwezi kwa sababu ni kuulize ile, ile, ile kuku mwanzo tuanze kusema ile kuku mwanzo tuanze kusema utaipiga risasi ukichukua internal ballistics ile risasi kiingia kwa ile kwa ile kuku itatoka na nyama yote itapoteza kwa msitu kwa sababu ile entry point itakuwa kwa ni kidogo lakini mahali itatoka itatoka ikiwa na nyama yote kwanza kuanzia tu oh. ya pili mahali ile risasi itapita itaishia wapi inaweza ikapiga chini karikoshe ikaenda juu ikaenda ikagonga mtu mwingine kule nekamua Ah, uh, si ungesema tu basi uwezi piga kuku risasi juu unataka ku save wizard. Eh, na when it comes to uh, basi sporting activities. Yes. Ah, uh, in hata before you sporting ni poa juu African Championships, yes. but before that mm-hmm. kitu swali lingine ya movie. Mm-hmm. Wana unaona ng'a the pro best shooters wanasema i couldn't have killed you because i shot siju you were carotid mm. uh, by the a little bit by the left and you survived mm. oh siju i missed your pulmonary ni pa nipiga mm. pulmonary artery uh, sijaguza major arteries just tissue mm. ni my best at a friendly fire mm. so just to make it real sijakuwa mm. yes. oh siju hiyo you know it yes. so you've seen yes. that in movies i've seen that in movies yes. is that believable is that uh, is there a level of accuracy ya at unaweza piga mtu hivi na ujue that's not a fatal shot hiyo ni wewe uko sawa ni maybe for believability marksmanship is a skill that you must train and you are able to attain a certain level for you to be able to do certain things some certain ways yes in kenya we have got special teams yes. kama unasikia watu wetu wareki wanasaidia kuna watu wa ATPU wanasaidia yes. wakati kumetokea shida fulani yes. na unaona hawa watu wakiingia pale wako na precision sasa akiangalia pale aone mahali anakulenga mm-hmm waweza kakupiga risasi na ile risasi itapita iende kauwe hostage. Waweza kuwa umeshika hostage yes. ama nyuma yako anaona kuna mtu amejificha kwa mall. Mm-hmm. Waweza kuwa umejificha nyuma ya manguo kwa sababu huyu jamaa mbele yako. 
lakini mimi nikimtokelezea yule jamaa mimi nakuona lakini yeye hakuoni kweli yes. lakini sasa ninaona opening ya kumpiga huyu nikimpiga kichwa ili risasi itagonga yule mtu na mwana nyuma amejificha kwa sababu yes. amejificha na mimi namuona yes, yes, yes. so i must change my 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 my, my, my the, i must change the trajectory of the bullet by changing the position where i am shooting from yes. so that that bullet hits you at a different position lakini sasa ile ya sinema ningependa kuambia watu ya sinema ujue ni kitu na aktiwa yes hii nayo ni real life yes, yes, hakuna yes. reverse hakuna pole hakuna slow motion mm. ni one time ni one time na sporting ndio ukuje ukue kuna levels za pro Kenya mm-hmm. four types of shooters you mentioned au ni akina nani in Kenya in the four levels of shooting actually in the levels of proficiency ni levels of uh, skills utapata marksmanship level yako ikifika mali umeingilia kwa sasa hivi kama wewe vile nakuona unajua nimekuangalia nikuona vile wasongesha mikono zako yeah. na nikikuangalia sasa ukipewa wewe kwenye kiwanja pale ukiingia utaanza pengine kategori ya kitu naitwa novice novice ni yule mtu ambaye anaanza kupiga akisikia sauti anashtuka anapiga kama macho yake yamelegeza namna hii kwa sababu ana ana anticipation na kama maembe hivyo sio face value <laughs> novice sio mbaya sana bado kuna unclassified kwa hivyo pale umepanda juu kidogo unaona uh-huh. ukitoka pale ukiweza kufika level ile ume umeanza ume, ume kujua ile reaction yes. ku counter reaction ya ya bullet ya nini ya bunduki yenyewe uweze kujua vile uta deal na na, na ile ricochet yake na si ricochet uweze kujua vile uta deal na ile inaitwa um, what do we call it mesa oh, hauna mtu akipiga risasi bunduki na kurusha huko nyuma hiyo ukiweza kuweza kujua vile uta deal na recoil ya bunduki na utoe anticipation ya bunduki utaweza kuanza kupata level ya kukua unaweza kuilenga na kulevelize ukiweza kupata mahali skill level ya panda juu utakuwa maxman ukipitisha maxman utakuwa mtu anaitwa sharp shooter zile uko nasikia enzi ya mzee tunamheshimu sana John Harun wao na okay. wengine yes, yes, yes. ukiweza kupita level ya sharp shooter unakuwa mtu anaitwa expert na if you're an expert shooter we ni mtu unaweza control speed time accuracy yako uweze kukuwa comfortable ukifanya vitu zile ambaye mtu wa kawaida haezi alafu kutoka kwa expert shooter unakuwa sasa master ukiwa master we ni mtu ambaye watu hawakusumbui sana unakuwa wanaachana na wewe kidogo kwa sababu unaona vitu watu hawaoni na unafanya vitu ambazo yule hata expert mwenye akifanya anafanya kwa ugumu au utafanya kwa urahisi Kenya kuna master Kenya tuko masters wa saba sasa hivi wewe ni mmoja wao mimi nilibarikiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu nikakuwa mmoja wao Seven. Yes, tuko seven pekee kwenye Kenya, South Africa nafikiri wako na masters kama sio tano wako karibu sita pia. Na mwanzo tukianza 2016 2017 hakukuwa na hata master mmoja Kenya. Na ulisema madem congratulations by the way for you. Madem mm-hmm. ni wa deadly kwa bunduki kuliko machali. Madem unajua kwa little bit more flexible. Okay. Unajua na kuna vitu wanafanyaga kwa vidole zao kwa mwili mwili zao. Yes, yes, yes. Ni mtu ambaye wana flexibility yao kwa fadhali. Yes. Um, mwanaume ni mtu ambaye ako rigid kidogo. Okay. Sasa ile bunduki pia ku deal na ile trigger kuna vile lazima utai yes. Kuna vile una una, una, una ibembeleza ndio oh. ina smooth pull unajua smooth pull sio lazima lazima uko romantic na bunduki kidogo kuna vile na iko na iko na heshima si ati oh uli uli ati wale mapijana au mapijana unaona kama ule kijana ukimwona wakati amempigwa ame, 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 ame na yule yes. wakati amegeuka yes. yeye kidole yake ilikuwa <laughs> yes na hiyo kufanya hako anafanya ati kwa sababu anajua anafanya nini yes. ile inaitwa adrenaline dump ama adrenaline rush okay Adrenaline rush mwili kikuingia yes because your system binadam defense system ya binadamu imeundwa hivyo yes ukiona danger mwili yako automatically inaanza ku secrete some hormones yes. ambazo zinaanza ku more oxygen inatuma signal kwa akili section moja inatuma kwa section nyingine inakwambia hapa kuna balaa ukishaona hiyo balaa unaanza wengine wanaanza kutingi okay. kutingika kuna mwingine mm-hmm. anatoka mbio kuna mwingine anaingia kwa vita. Yes. Badala ya kutoroka ataingia kwa kwa vi, yes. kwa vita. It's called flight or fight. Yes. Because of adrenaline rush or adrenaline dump. And that's what separates the pros from the Yes, when you can know how to control it yes. to your advantage. Na ukienda surgery utolewe adrenaline wewe sasa ndio anga manja. Ndio. Ukienda monitor adrenaline. 
hakuna kitu unaogopa so mimi ni adrenaline na kuanga nao adrenaline na unahitaji so na wengine wanakimbia kwenda kufanya banjo jumping wengine yes. wanakimbia kwenda kufanya sijui nini nini wengine wanaponye kwenye kwenye cage anaingia kule chini kwa mashark hmm. anatafuta adrenaline lakini ka, yake this is a sort of a high when you get to it it gives you extra strength it makes your vision even you can your light the light becomes more okay. and the activities that you can do are incredible wewe ukimwona mtu ambaye ana react kwa adrenaline sasa hivi yes. kama yule kijana what react, what 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 happened to him was a reaction of his adrenaline oh. wakati yeye ameamuka kwenda kupiga yule jamaa that was now a fight reflex ya fight than flight lakini oh. flight took control wakati ameanza kusikia zile risasi zikapiga ukimwona kitoka nje akienda na anakwambia he couldn't feel anything isn't it yes, yes, lakini yes. mwishowe kuna mahali amesikia uchungu kwa mguu yes. because risasi ilipiga bone zile zingine oh. zikuwa zinapita through Nyama. soft tissue yes. but wakati ilipiga bone jalisikia uchungu yes. lakini mahali aliposimamia yeye yes. ni mbali kwa sababu what was happening was not in his control without well, that adrenaline rush ah. that is what saved him okay it can either save you unaona mtu akienda kugongwa na gari yes. umetembea uone gari mbona unaruka mara moja Ah, okay. Lakini ukiambua ifanye normally yes. huwezi. That is a body defense system that actually works in every human being. Okay. Yes. Sawa sawa na ukitrain watu kuna training ya eh, mali, for, this is for the trained firearm uh, users. Yes. Ukitrain mtu ku, kutumia bunduki unaweza train mtu pia kunyang'anya mtu bunduki. Sasa hiyo ni extra skills ambazo lazima utakuja ku, ku, ku train. Lazima train wangu sana sana kwa wale watu ambao wamechukua classes za za vitu kama Krav Maga class kwa Krav Maga ambaye ni hand to hand combat kuna mtu ambaye ametrainiwa something called force on force ile scenario ambaye unapigana na mtu ambaye unamuona hakuna bunduki pale na wewe kuna bunduki hapa na ikifikia mahali ambaye sasa tumekukaribia na mimi yangu imeisha risasi nitafanya nini sitabidi nijue technique ya kuitoa kwa mkono yako so hizo techniques pia ni vitu ambazo mtu anatrainiwa they are more or less a specialized training sio kitu ambaye kama kuna moja unaweza tu um, it's, it's a little bit it's a little bit on the low on a, it is a little bit on the low because ubaya yake yes. ya hiyo demonstration utaweza ka insight mtu mwingine akadhania ni kitu ambayo unaweza kufanya na akienda kufanya atapatana na shida kwa sababu kwa sinema ukiona mtu ambaye ako na kama mimi ni mkufunzi i am an instructor Yes. So being an instructor I'm allowed to have what we call training aids. Yes. And with the training aids I can show you one here. Ah, itakuwa poa yeah. sana. So with, with what we know we call as a training aid, yes. a training aid is what I used to simulate when I'm training so that the person who is uh, using this or when I'm demonstrating yes. I do not end up creating a disaster yes. with actually using a live firearm okay. which is one thing that you're not supposed to to do. Okay. You're not supposed to use a live firearm when you're doing some training to the beginners or to a certain levels of of, of training. Okay. So this is a simulated firearm and as you can see it looks like it has all the necessary features which are there. That's and like that a real gun. It ah. is more or less like yes. and it is not supposed to be used with the public. Na sio kitu ya kukua nayo nyumbani kama toy. Yes. Hii tunatumia tu kwa ishara ya kupewa ruksa awe kuwa mkufunzi ndio uweze kuitumia kwa darasa wakati unafundisha watu mambo ya se mambo ya safety. So mtu kama mimi mwenye ni muoga yes. niseme mm -hmm. nataka hii tu nataka nipewe license ya hii ya kuambia mwizi weka hiyo TV chini. Azi si si ya kufanya kitu <laughs> ni ndio hata mimi nisikue na risk ya sijui risasi imeenda wapi. <laughs> Unajua naye wewe kesho hatujui na wewe utaenda ukule majani yana gani na wewe pia ukue kichwa. Enda <laughs> <laughs> na wewe uanze uanze vituko. Lakini hiyo yes. sio kwangu kwa kusema mm -hmm. but najua ukiuliza kama fire licensing board yes. ukienda uwaulize ni njia gani inaweza nikapata yes. wataweza kukuelekezea. Okay. Ndio najua chances zako zitakuwa ku very very slim. <laughs> sio ni kama utafaulu. <laughs> Mwanze ushani rulaut na labda uko kwa board. Uh -huh. Sasa unaona hii bunduki yes. ukimwangalia yule mtu kama yule jamaa yes. alikuwa ameishika kwa jinsi fulani yes. alikuwa shaingiza kidole yake hapa ndani. Ah. So the reaction of pulling this trigger for you to get around to go out yes. is a split second. Yes. It's a very very short split second. So the things that you see in the movies that mtu amekuja akaangalia umeishika hivi akaitezesha against the force of your hand because ukivurudisha na pande hii yes. unajua bado mkono wangu umeshika yes, yes, lakini yes. nikishika pande hii nikipeleka pande hii vidole yezi yes, yes, yes. so i can snatch it on the opposite side of my hand isn't yes, it yes, yes, but yes. i will tell you unless you've been trained to a skill level where you can afford to do that Wachana, it would not be something which I would encourage anyone to do because okay. the split of that trigger going 
it means the life has been taken. Okay. Yes. Ah, na mimi naishi kama fingerprints zangu zitaniletea shida. Um, unajua sasa kwa fingerprints zako siwezi nikakwambia eti kuwa zitaleta shida kwa sababu yeah. already kwa immunized lakini kwa sababu ya corona kwa sasa <laughs> hivi nikishika nikikupatia itakuwa shida si ndio. <laughs> Hii corona inafanya mpaka watu wananyimwa bunduki <laughs> siwezi nikakupatia ushike. Kwa sababu yeah. nimeishika mikono mitupu sawa, sawa. na nikikushikisha ndakuwa na kushikisha ni, ugonjwa ni, ambaye haifai kama niko naye pengine. Niliona so, sawa sawa. sawa. Yes. Niliona kwa training mm. ya hiyo um, the chairman's cup. Yes. I think it was the chairman ama ni former chairman. Mm. Anatoa anatoa bunduki hivi haraka asiji kama ali, ali load mm -hmm. but alienda akipiga piga mavitu mm. risasi kadhaa mm -hmm. akahesabiwa i think ni 13 seconds mm. hiyo ndio pro when it comes to speed uh, when it comes to speed and accuracy you must balance speed and accuracy so ukiona hiyo inaitwa cost of fire a cost of fire ni simulation ya real life scenario mm -hmm. nyumba yako nyumba ya jirani mall tuna simulate Alafu tunaweka targets ni kama hapo ndio mali wakora wamesimama. Yes. Na hapo mmoja kuna wakora pia kuna innocent victims wanaitwa non threats ambaye pia wako ndani ya hiyo scenario. Yes. So ile ulimwona akifanya alichukua bunduki yake kwa sababu ameitoa kwenye holster. At yes. all times lazima ikae kwenye holster. Hapa. Yes. And at okay. all times lazima finger yako ikae off the trigger. Ukiona mimi nikiishika, nikiingia kuishika tu hii kidole shazoya itakaa mm -hmm. hapo nje. Yes. Na siwezi nikaiongesha hii hata kama ni dami kizi nikaiongesha hii ikamulika kiti yoyote ambaye si intend ku, ku destroy because muscle memory ya binadamu huwa ile kitu unafanya leo utafanya kesho hata hii mkebe ufanye ah, siwezi okay na usiite mkebe sasa ngine yeah. ni kifaya kazi <laughs> tools <laughs> ukamuona sasa yeye mwenyewe aid yes, yes. tukamuona yeye mwenyewe amechukua hii inaitwa magazine yes. ambaye ndiye aliweza kuitumia kuingiza pale ndani na kuweza kutumia kufanya okay. na mimi singependa kwanza kufundisha wa Kenya eti ni jinsi gani utaweza kuchukua uingize kufanya okay. unless wewe ni mtu ambaye umekuwa licensed na umeweza kutumwa na serikali uh -huh. ukasemekana wewe ni mtu unaweza kufundishwa sasa umethibitisha okay. ndio utaweza kufunzwa hiyo okay but now, now when he does that course of fire the time that he takes is timed by a special gadget that we have for competitions it makes sure it picks split seconds so when you see 18 seconds it tells you that you can enter this room clear it by making sure you've taken out the bad person left the good people in the shortest time possible yes. putting into consideration that there are people who are innocent in there do not touch them do not shoot them and also knowing that where your bullet is going to end up will not be to hurt somebody else yeah, yeah, yeah. it takes a lot of training for you to get to that skill you levels. have to budget for the bullet movement <laughs> definitely <laughs> <laughs> they are not cheap mm. <laughs> yes. uh, ni how much moja uh, risasi kwa sasa hivi inategemea um, kuna different types za bunduki za, za, za bullets na zote zinaua zote, zi... zote zinaua na sio mbona mbona bei zina... tofauti kwa sababu kuna kaliba tofauti kuna 9 mm kaliba kuna milimita nyingine ambaye ni ya kubwa kidogo kuna zingine ambazo zinatumika kwa risasi there are different kind of, uh, of, of calibers the cheapest for... there is no cheapest depends also on the material that makes it ah yes. kuna risasi ya gold kuna risasi inaitwa gold dot <laughs> Mkona mambo lakini sio gold yeye yeah, jina yake ni gold dot. Haya <laughs> sawa sawa. Na when it comes to the sports yes. itself yes. ni sporting yenye is it open to um, Mr. Novice hapa anaweza kuja training yeah. alan alafu mm. ni kuje ni compete na nyinyi kama kwa African Championships yenye yeah. yeah. tell us more about the African Championships. African African, African, African Championships. Championship is a very big thing because you see in Kenya today we are actually the only other country in Africa that has been given the opportunity to host it. Okay. Kenya ni nchi ya maajabu. Juzi umeona tumetoka safari rally. Yes, yes. Kesho kutwa ndio hii tunaanza under 20 Olympics. Yes. Olympics ama ni, ni, ni athletics mm -hmm. under 20. Mm -hmm. Tuko pia na African Champions which is shooting. Yes. It is the first time ever it's coming into Kenya. It has yes. never happened outside uh, outside uh, South Africa. It has always been held in South Africa for two reasons. There's never been another nation in Africa that yes. has had safety officers yes. competent enough to yes. run a safe shoot yes. for something known as a tire 4 tire 4 ni level 4 the only five levels of shooting in competition shooting which is the highest is tire 5 that only happens in the US tire 4 is now happens in all over the world yeah but in in, the, in Africa imekuwa yes. ikifanyika South Africa peke yake sasa wakati huu tumeweza kupawa kama Kenya it was to happen in 2020 corona tukasongeshwa mpaka 2021 okay. sasa tuko 2021 September 2nd to September 4th hapa Kirigiti kiambu 
happened to Tokwana Year Tournament. We are yes. expecting around 100 people from different areas of the different con from different continents yes. who are coming to participate, not only in Africa. We have people coming in from Switzerland. We have people who have also promised to come from uh, Hungary. The people who have come, come, come from the way from Thailand. And we have people already confirmed coming in from South Africa. So this tournament will be held here as a, as, as a it's, it's, I don't even know how to say it. We never thought we'd ever reach that stage in Kenya. But for the first time, they've said, yes, Kenya, you already have more than 80 safety officers. I am a safety officer instructor. Na wengi wa mepitia kwa mkono yangu, kwa sababu ya kushirikiana na hao. Na tunajua tukianza hiyo siku, tutakuwa tunenda World Championships kwa musha wa September tena hii. Okay. We were there last year. We hope also you know, the, uh, 2019 for the World Championships. And we also hope that we're going to be there again this year if all goes well. Ah. So African Championship, kwa sasa hivi, Kenya hosting it puts us on the world map of sports shooting. Ndiyo inatusaidia tutaheza pata pia big corporates kama watengezaji wa bunduki, kama Glock, kama CZ. Waeze kukuja kufanya promotion zao na kuinvest kapa Kenya. Nuna juzi tulifungua factory ya kutengeza bunduki, Roiro. Ili ambaye raisi mtukufu eleza ku, uh, raisi wetu uhuru eleza kutengene kufungua Roiro. Tunaomba pia hizo siyeze kutusaidia kwa kunajua undaida kunembe ni mesema mtukufu. Eh <laughs> 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 <
Ah, yes. Okay. Mm. Sawa sawa maze. Eh, hey, maze good vibes. Wewe tukiacho hapa tunaweza na wewe mpaka kesho. But kitu moja ningependa kusema ambaye ni muhimu sana. Yes. Scenario kama ile ambayo ilifanyika kasarani yes. kwa huyo kijana ambaye alijitolea na mkaona alieza kuamuka pale na kamugonga yule jamaa. Yes. It is general knowledge to understand that when you see such kind of threats, one thing is that your reaction could have saved the life the way it saved the life of the gentleman who was there and another person. And also equally, that reaction of yours could cost other people's lives. Uh -huh. So it is always a calculated risk. Vila alisema alikuwa mejipanga, lakini mpangilio yake haiku fuwadafu. Ndiyo akaeza kupata kuumia. Mimi ningependa kuomba wa Kenya wasimuachilia ule kijana. Tukiwa mimi moja wao, tuweza kumsaidia. Kwa njia yote ambaye tunaeza, haeza kurudi kukua mtu ambaye kutafutia familia yake. Na mwingine weo ambao napanya hii tabia. Wazazi ni muhimu tujua mali ya vijana wetu wako. You cannot be saying you have a son in the house, ana kujaga usiku wako na hela, unaingia rumi yake, hujawe ingia, ukaangalia, ukaona kama kuna vidude vidude ya meficha ficha kule, and then you're saying he is your son. Itabidi tuchukue utu, we take responsibility, because these are our young men. Na wakipatikana pale nje, ukweli, unona maisha yao haitarudi, because when you find him with a firearm, and he's there threatening, to kill other people and his firing, he okay. will be fired upon. So one of the saddest things, uh, mm. to listen to na Richard Mwema, mm. ni what happened after Vilo Alito Kapo in their shop. Mm. It's in the full length video, to take care of our Na one of the things ni wakenya walikuja kuwa surround, hakuna msa na jua kuwa chinini, but watu wana marvel at vile mtu wana pigo, hame pigo wa risasi ya nakaa, unajua it's a sort of like a sight. Mm. Una get? Mm. Eh, but kuna first aid zenye zenza saidi ya mtu, akifanyikiwa na kitu kama hiyo. Yes. What are the first things zenye mtu wa kawaida akiwatch, anaza saidia mtu wame pigo wa risasi ya naitaji help? Kitu ya mwanzo ulazima ujue, hakuna binadam anafraia kuona damu. Nukweli. Kwa hivyo, ukiona damu, kila mtu atayondokea. Yes. Wile ambaya anaza kukaribia, it still comes on the adrenaline rush that yes. I was telling you. Yes. There are some people who will see blood. Because of that, it excites them. And it can make you either run away, stick away. Mungina ta freeze. Mungina ta kimbili ya kuja kukusaidia. But it's, it is important to understand simple first aid can really help in different scenarios. Number one, ukiona mtu ambaya na bleed, na mevanguo, utajua aja mali damu inatoka? Lazima ujue mali. Lazima kwanza ujue ile point mali inatoka. Kwa hivyo itabidi umfungue. Na Kenya yetu unajua nitofoti kidogo. Nikingia mianze kukufungua mwanguo, kuna yu watadhania mina kupora. Yes, yes, yes. Na hapo pia mina zabaki nime, Ume, umeenda. Nime kaya. kelewa mwangu mizingine hapo za maja, yeah, za maja yeah. But basically, hata nyumbani kwako, it is important to know normal simple first aid that can help. Yes. When you have blood oozing from your body. Yes. Ukieza kwa identify ile mahali ambaye damu inatoka, yes. ni muhimu kuiziba. Because yes. I think it is actually 90 seconds or less that can actually, for you to bleed continuously, you would actually lose your life. Yes. Because when that kind of blood gets out of you, it's very difficult to, to keep you going. Yes, yes, yes. So, if I may just go directly to bullet wounds, if you get a bullet wound, if you're shot, say, you can pick a nikipigwa risasi yes. mkononi ama nikipigwa risasi pande moja yes. kwa, kwa limbs to say yes. example ni limbs yes. our first reaction huwa ni kukata damu ambaye ina travel kwa veins zako kutoka juu kurudisha chini kwa sababu circulation inapanda cha ikite ikiteremsha sasa ni kate supply ya damu ya hiyo mahali ambayo imegongwa unafunga unafunga na kuna kitu naitwa turn kit ndio nikusumbue kidogo tunaenda kuongesha hapa kidogo Sawa. Eh, na haya ni vitu ambaye mimi natembea nazo kwa gari kwa kila siku si atenda mimi na mm -hmm. pia zinapatikana dukani so okay. sema nimefungua nikageuza mali yangu za kwa soko eh. Eh. yes hadi sasa kwa sema nimefungua kasoko hapa kwa wako sasa hii inaitwa turn kit hii hi ni turn kit hiyo ni turn kit turn yes. kit yes. Ni, ni ni kit ambaye inatumika yes. ukiwa umepigua risasi. Yes. Unaideploy kwa haraka, yes. unaitoa. Una Ukienza kuitoa hii, unaweza kuitumia hii strap level yake, yes. kufunga, kuji, kujisaidia. So nikifungua hivyo, kama nimepigua risasi, sema ni hapa. Yes. Nitafunga beyond kwa ile joint ambaye hiko. Kwa sababu hapo kwa joint pia kuna zile, zile nerves, zile, zile, zile nerves zinapitisha nini? Yes. Zile, zile veins zinapitisha da, damu. Yes. Sasa hii lazima ni ikaze, na ni ikaze kabisa, 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 kabisa. Mm. Na ikaza bila kukweka kwenye, kwenye hile mfupa, mm. ni ikaze, ni ingize, ni twist kabisa iwe imekaa ni kitu ambaye damu haito tembea, okay. hata kama ni nini. 
nikienza kukata hiyo damu hiyo supply ya damu yes. ile iko kwenye hiyo section yes. nitaweza kuzuia damu kutoka yes. na nifunge na niandike ni saa ngapi ah. nimeifunga okay. kwa sababu hiyo nikishaifunga na nimefunga kabisa unaona sasa mishipa zinaanza kuonekana yes. hiyo ni kumaanisha nimekata supply ya damu okay. Okay. supply ya damu sasa nikizidi kuinspect ile mwili niangalie nikipata kuna zingine za tumbo yes. pia hapo unaweza ukatumia unaweka pressure ndio ile damu isi toke nje okay. kama inazidi kuuze itabidi utafute njia uipekue na ufanye kitu unaitwa staffing yes. uchukue nguo ama ile kitambara ambaye sana sana tunatembea nazo niko nazo i was to me chewing gum nawe unaona yeah. itabidi nitafute kama niko na hii inaitwa ifac na ifac <laughs> The IFAC, <laughs> the IFAC stands for something very simple. It's an emergency first aid kit. Umenielewa? Yeah, nimeelewa. Niko sawa. Niko sawa. Mimi naona wewe ulielewa. Ulielewa kile kile kijana mtukutu sana. Ah, pole pole ni movie mingi. Tanikubalia nifungue hii kwa sababu unajua hiyo nilikuwa nimekata supply ya damu kwa mkono. Pole pole. Na inaweza kaleta mambo mengi. So it's recommendation kila mtu kalio bangi anunue hiyo. Wale ambao wako na bunduki. Oh, bunduki. Wale wako na bunduki. Si watu wenye wanaishi mali watu wanapiga bunduki. Si hapana. Kwa sababu bado hii inaweza nikatumia mshipi, inaweza nikatumia tai kama hiyo tai yako inaweza nikaitoa bado nika operate the same thing. But you just stop the blood from flowing in that case okay. it's actually medically sasa zingine unasema is not recommended mm -hmm. lakini inaweza katumika kusaidia wakati kuna emergency mm -hmm. na kama ni chest imepigwa utapata ile unapata mtu anaanza kupumua na anaanza kukata ile kwa sababu hewa imeanza kuingia pale kwa kwa hiyo yes, kifua yes, yes, yes. lazima uitafute ni wapi ile shimo iko alafu naiziba hewa ya nje iache kuingia ndani so hizi ni lessons ambazo huwezi kufundishwa kwenye tv hauwezi yeah. kuingia kwenye youtube ni vitu ambazo lazima ukasomee. So tuwasema siku ya leo ukiangalia pale kijijini utapata watu wangapi ambao wako na bunduki wanaweza respond vile ni wachache. Lakini tukichukua kiwango kingine tofauti tuanze kutrain watu wetu ambaye tuseme ni wazee wa kijiji. Tuseme tuna train uh, county council officers wale ambao wanachukua kodi kule na nini na nini. Ku simple first aid, normal first aid. Kukitokea visanga kama hizi they can save a life. Yeah. Na wewe mwenyewe ukichukua interest kama unafanya kwa ofisi kama hii. Tuseme level fulani ofisi yenu pia acha kusema kila wakati mkiongezewa hela ni allowance zenu tu zinaongezwa. Mwanzo pia mkiambiwa saa zingine endeni mpelekewe course ya nini? A first aid course. Yes, 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 Mweze yes, yes. ama kinaitwa <coughs> plug and press. Plug and press means you plug the area and you press it so that ah. we avoid blood from fusing outside. Yes. If you can get people going through such kind of courses they can help. But the best solution when you see someone is down, rush the person to hospital. We have got clinics within our areas of where we live. The yes. small clinics which yes. are within those areas. Those facilities are there for quick response. Okay. Get the person into that clinic. Let the person be given the quickest first aid. It can save a life. Mm -hmm. But kufika pale na kuchukua video na kuanza na selfie na selfie na, ma, na sio selfie. Yani kuchukua ma video, ma video, ma video, ma video. Yes. Haito saidia. It is better to try and get the person to the nearest hospital yes. as much as possible and it is also important to get the, the to have emergency numbers on your phone. Kitambo tuko tunajua 999. Siku zikiambia mtu 999 anasema ilikuwa stigma ya kitambo ule ni polisi. Na hata ifanyage. Hata ifanyage na vitu kama hizo. So we need to have an emergency call number which everybody can be able to reach, dial and get a quick response to the site. Then it can help because you can't train everyone ukweli yes. very very true na hata <coughs> maybe final thing before we let you go eh, uliniambia kitu interesting sana unaweza una mtu wa kawaida akona mm. bunduki sio lazima ati ukue polisi ama ukue nini mm. so procedure ya kuna one of our guys one of our team members mm. anaitwa peke mm. alikuwa anauliza jamaa reja reja kama mm. yeye mm. okay alitumia jina jamaa ordinary mm. ordinary ni reja reja ya kitambo mm. jam, eh, jam, mm. <laughs> jama ordinary mm. akitaka bunduki What is the procedure from step one? Procedure ya kwanza na ningependa kuambia watu wote wakae wakijua it is prescribed in the constitution. Yes. Procedure ya kwanza ni lazima utembelee police station yako. Yes. Kwenye OCS ukiingia kwenye ofisi ya OCS umwambie I want to be a licensed firearm holder atakupatia mwelekezo. There is no any other procedure. Hiyo ingine ya kuingia kusema itaenda vetting, itaenda huku, itaenda huku, itaenda huku ni kama kuuliza mtu nikitaka kupata degree na niko mwaka mbili 
Nita Pataji degree. Okay. If I'm two years old, if yes, I'm five okay. years old, the first procedure is to join a school. Yes. So first procedure, for you to get a firearm, visit your area OCS. Mm -hmm. And your area OCS will then guide you yes. properly on how you're supposed to get a firearm. And the cost that is, the cost that is charged for a firearm yes. is what we are charged at the firearm licensing board. We are simply charged 5,000 shillings for, uh, for you to get, to, to get your card. And you charge an official 2,000 shillings, which is prescribed in the, in the, in the, in the, in the law. Okay. So those are the two costs. But you can see how many people are ah, kupata license, 200, 300, 400. Even though it's corruption. Now the good thing is that this board that we have today, the current firearm licensing board, ambaye kana ongozo na mungera, this is a team of workers. Wameka yao kitu laini, hakuna cha kona kona, hakuna cha kujuana, hakuna cha nini. Weanzi akule kwa OCS, ukimaliza huko kisha pata bunduki yako mwio kwa sami onyango. Sami onyango ni mkufunzi, I will train you. Okay, sawa sawa basi. So, you've had the procedure, ni ufuate procedure na elfu yako saba. Kwa sawa. That's according to the law. Elfu sabo talipa kule, kwa bodu kisha patiwa official receipt. Sasa ujanunua bunduki. Aha. Abe ya bunduki ni mambo ingine. Mwime bunduki, sasa utakuja kwangu, alafu nda kuongesha kuna bunduki ya inatofauti tofauti, ili ambayo itakupendeza, ili ambayo itakuena fit mkono yako, inashika vizuri, ni concealable kwa mwili yako, ni hivi na hivi. Alafu tutazungumza pale na tutaelewana. Sawa sawa basi. Asante sana kwa kamshu yetu ya leo. In the interest of time, wacha tutu shikilie kutoka hapo leo. Tuneza kuinvite tena na tena, of course. Najua sewa atapenda hii sana sana sana. Asante for your time. Nashukuru sana sana. Nakaribu tena na tena. Nashukuru. Kingori ni ulize. Yes. Ni kweli wa Kenya watakubali kushikilia African Championship. Ya, ya, ya gan? Iyo ya, ya nga ukenja amu wakona mpango ingine. Ni ulize vile hasla na mamoja na ulize. Wacha tuweke hewani, ni kushua ita generate interest. Kwa sababu, mina believe ni a matter of national interest. Kwa sababu, nataka kujua. Na nilifil vibaya that your story ya Richard ilikuwe meachiliwa hivo. So, nika fikira tuneza combine story ya Richard na information more on safety. Tutamsaidia. Nikisema tuta, kwa sababu, nikona marafiki. Na ninaomba utikitoka, utanishikanisha na ee. Tuwone ni njiangani tutamsaidia. Na shukuru sana. Yes. Very, very. Yani, we ni mse good vibe sana. Asante na all the best kwa competition ya African Championships. Thank you. Lakini wea uta compete. Wea si usha kuwa master. Ata kama mimi ni master, match director, bado ni taomba tu nieze kujengu. Unajua ile kitu ni kama, ni kama jua taki, ni kama, ni addictive. Yes, yes. Ukiishika, utaeza kujua. Na mimi yalazo na represent Triple Tap. My company is known as Triple Tap Range Limited. Mungia kwenye Facebook, unatupata as Triple Tap Limited. Ukija kule, utatueza kutushikana na sisi, tukakusaidia kutrain. So we are sponsoring it. I've also sponsored some safety officers. I've yes. sponsored disciplined forces officers. And by to know how more than 100 have joined us for this competition. Okay. So I'd like Kenyans who have got licensed firearm holders okay. to please register for the African Championship. Okay. If they want to know how to register, let them just Google Ngao Kenya or the Google Triple Tap and we will be able to guide them. Sawa, sawa. Na quick recovery to uh, Richard Mwema. Na yes. asante sana pia kwa kila mtu. And thank you for joining us uh, for this show. Uh, to many more. Na nimependa sana jina ya ikitu. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. King.